Hey, let's take a look at July 2022 housing market update. I'm Sean Ryan, and this is your July 2022 housing market update. So 624 active listings right now. July 2021, we had 177 sales and $86 million in volume. 2022, 123 sales, $64 million in volume. So 54 fewer sales, and that also gave us $22 million less of volume as well. So out of the 154 sales, we saw seven sales under 200,000, 36 sales between that 200 and 400,000, 45, 406, and then 34, 600 plus. It's nice to see a lot of sales between that two and $400,000 range. It really means that Sardinia Lampton is still a very affordable place to live, which is absolutely amazing. July, 2021, average price 484. Now, July, 2022, we saw 517. So we saw a 7% increase from last July. So that tells me, you know, prices are holding strong. We're not seeing a big dip here in Sardinia Lampton, maybe compared to some other bigger areas. And, you know, I, I think we're gonna see prices continue to climb just not the same rate we have for the last two years, because let's be honest, that wasn't really sustainable. So average days to sell 17 last year, 23 now. So we've gone up a little bit, just an extra six days. And that's really as we're starting to see the market de-escalate a little bit and become to a more normalized market, which is much healthier for everyone. So July, 2021, we had two months of inventory. June, we had four months of inventory. Now July, we've had four months of inventory. So we've seen that months of inventory really hold steady and i think we went back to may we were just at four months of inventory as well so just more context for that that zero to three months is a seller's market three to six months is a balanced market six months plus is a buyer's market so we're a long way before getting to a buyer's market so i love the balance market it's much better for everyone so now let's look at individual areas here in sarnia lambton and seeing what the prices are doing. So starting in North End, we split the city in two by the highway. It's 27 sold, five conditional, average sale price 687, and 66 active listings right now. Now let's go to the South End, 44 sales, average house price 421, so really good price for the South End, 71 active listings right now. Price growth, six sold, three are conditionally sold as of today. Average sale price though, 880,000 with 15 active listings. Forest, we saw three sell. 300 was the average sale price in Forest with 10 active listings right now. <coughs> and then uh, Plitton, Wyoming, we saw 10 sell, two conditional sales, average sale price 840,000 with 28 active listings. So keep in mind, you know, a lot of the new home construction right now is going on in the Plitton, Wyoming area, and that's what's really brought that average house price up. Petroya, five sell, one conditional, 400 is the average sale price five active listings. Now let's go to Corona, five sell, two conditionals, average sale price 560 in Corona, active listings 14. And if we look at St. Clair Township as a whole, we take Corona out of the equation, 12 sold, three conditional, average sale price 552,000, but there's 27 active listings in the St. Clair Township as well. So what we're seeing in the market right now, you know, we saw, yeah, rates went up 100 basis point last month. One of the biggest rate increases we've seen in a very, very long time. So what's that mean for the market? Still historically, really good interest rates. I remember when I got in the business in 06, average interest rate was anywhere from five and a half to six and a half percent, and people were still buying. The market was hot in 06, if you can remember. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. Well, so guess what's gonna happen with the next rate change in September? There is talk maybe of that rate going down a little bit, even though it went down like a quarter of a point or something like that, I think it's gonna show people's stability in the interest rates. We've already seen the states, the rate pull back a little bit. So I think if that continues, I think we're gonna have a really busy fall market. So what should you do right now if you're a buyer? Well, as a buyer and you've been in the market for a while, you've been waiting for this opportunity for two years to have a slower market, get in there, get some conditions, maybe negotiate a little bit. Jump in, get in, you know what I mean? You don't wanna to wait to buy, you wanna buy now, wait to sell. And for sellers, well, it's still a great time to sell. We're still seeing record high prices and homes are still selling. So that is your July, 2022 housing market update. Reach out if you have any questions and welcome home to the Blue Coast.